everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Topic Tuesday and this week's prompt is most owned brands as well as our top five from those brands. This was not an easy thing for me to do, but I think I did it. These might change here and there, but I think I think I did it. I think, and I think I did pretty well. So I went with my three most owned brands. The first one being Simple Colors, which I own upwards of 200 polishes from. I chose Zoya and OPI as well because the, I own about the same polish from each of those, around 110 polishes. Before I get into this, most of my Simple Colors picks are from limited edition collections. So your best bet is uh, Big Lots and eBay. And when it comes to my Zoya collection, most of of it is from PR that I receive from Zoya. However, four of the five polishes that are my favorites from Zoya, I actually purchased with my own money. So let's get on with the video. I'm gonna start off with simple colors, of course. The first one being strawberry milk. This would not be Jody's video if I did not include this as one of my simple colors favorites. This is just a matte, a soft, chalky matte pink that I'm able to get opaque in two coats. I know a lot of people struggle with matte formulas. I always just recommend adding some thinner. It doesn't affect the matte quality of it at all in my experience. It just it just slows down the drying process so you have a little bit more time to work with it. My next favorite is In Your LML and this is from the Pastel Neon Mattes collection that I believe came out at the end of August or maybe September of 2017. I adore this color. I cannot deny though that the formula is really not good. This is going to be a three to four coater. I, in the swatch photos, I'm showing four coats. Um, in person, I think you can probably get away with three, but I really don't think that this would ever be a two coat polish. Having said that though, I really do just love the color. Another favorite of mine is Breakdance Not Hearts. This is a foil from Sinful Colors and they come out with some of the best. I hope this year they come out with more because I haven't seen them come out with any lately. Uh, this one is a two coater for me, but I really do think that if you wanted to, you could, you could probably get this opaque in one coat. One that I don't hear too many people talk about is Slay Me. This is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. It is from the Holiday 2016 collection, if I'm remembering correctly. The formula is pretty good as well. It is, it does have more of like a jelly formula, but I love those. You guys know I love those, and this one was a three coater. And on the flip side, I have Inlays Blue, which at this point, I would probably consider this to be a cult classic. I really don't think that there's any reason for anybody to spend more than $2 on a cobalt blue like this if you have access to sinful colors. I know not everybody does, but I say that because the formula is just so good and it pops off the nail and it looks good on everybody. Anyone that I've seen has swatched this whether I know them or not, I always think that this looks so, so good, and it has a good formula as well. Opaque in two coats. Now we're gonna move into my OPI. The first one is Glitzerland. I remember there was a lot of talk on about this one on Makeup Alley in 2011, 2012, and I do not regret buying this polish one bit. It's a gold, but it's not yellow, which I've talked about before. I don't really like yellow golds, and the formula is really good. It is a foil type of polish, so you're not gonna deal with streakiness and it's opaque in two coats. The next one is Let's Be Friends. This was from the OPI Hello Kitty collection. I wanna say from 2015, I could be wrong, or maybe it was 2016. Either way, this was in my 2016 favorites video. I think that this is a gorgeous pale pink. Oftentimes we come across those really dry chalky ones, say along the lines of Alpine Snow from OPI, which is just a white, but they're chalky in that way. And this is not, this is more of a curly formula. And I like that about it. I'm able to get it opaque in two to three coats for the swatch photo though. I did do three. One of my favorite yellows is from OPI and that one is Tell Me About It. This is a three coat polish, but again, it doesn't have a dry chalky formula, which is something that I really try to avoid. I really don't like those. I will use them if I have to, but I don't prefer them. And this is not dry. It's not chalky. And I'm able to get it a fully opaque in three coats. That's another thing. Oftentimes we come across yellows that even at three coats, you can't get it opaque, but this is one of them. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a good yellow or you just want to try more yellows. Now I'm going to move into more recent OP OPI releases. The first one is Less is Norse. This was a part of the Iceland collection. This is a denim blue. My swatch photo is not accurate. I tried really hard to get it accurate, but for whatever reason, it's pulling very blue 
blue in that in that photo when this is more dusty than it appears there. Uh, this reminds me so much of I Dream a Jean Genie from Wet n Wild, which was limited edition. If you missed out on that, I re would recommend getting this one instead. And somebody, when I had reviewed this collection, somebody was thinking about getting this and just topping that one off or topping that off with a gold topper. And I think that's actually a really good idea if you weren't able to get I Dream a Jean Genie. That one has a beautiful formula and I'm able to get it opaque in two coats. The next one is from the same collection, and that is Susie in the Arctic Fox. This is kind of a chameleon color sometimes. Sometimes it looks like really gray. Other times it looks more brown, but then in some other times it looks purple. It's a very interesting color, and I think that this is probably going to look different on a lot of people, but I love the way that it looks on me. It has a beautiful formula, once again, opaque and two coats. Now we're going to move into Zoya. I don't talk too much about Zoya other than when I do reviews on them, so this is actually really exciting for me to do. So my number one favorite, hands down, is Harper. I do not hear very many people talk about this. This is gorgeous. If you're looking for something super girly, you got to have Zoya's Harper in your collection. It's a jelly glitter base. I mean, it almost looks like it would be a pixie dust, but it doesn't dry down and it doesn't have texture. It is a three coater, but I'm telling you, every single coat is worth it. Two of my favorite pixie dusts include Tomoko. I picked this up early 2016. I heard some talk about it, but people really don't talk about this one as often as I, I felt like they used to. Uh, this has a really good formula, opaque and two coats, and, and it's a gold that is not yellow. It looks a little bit more silvery but when you put it next to a silver it is definitely not a silver it's a gold and my other favorite pixie dust is London I picked this up on Ali's recommendation I believe she used to wear this in like 2016 I don't know maybe I'm going crazy but this is so pretty and I'm so glad that I picked it up it's very unique because it is a textured gray polish and it just it just looks so good. I'm able to get this one opaque in two coats. I didn't want to include Zoya's NYX, but I have kind of a love-hate relationship with that one. I love it, but then I hate it at the same time. But we're not here to talk about that. Next up is Zoya's Dream. I picked this up because of the hype, and I do think it's worth it. The hollow in here is not super strong, but it is incredibly easy to remove. It removes like a cream polish. For me, I'm going to say you can get this opaque in two coats. However, I would recommend a third coat because it just amps it up a little bit and it looks really really good but you don't have to you definitely don't have to and my last Zoya favorite is Presley this is from Zoya's fall 2017 sophisticates collection I did do a review on that entire collection this is beautiful the formula is fantastic it's opaque in two coats and it's what I thought Rue was going to be now I don't hate Rue on me but I thought it was going to have more purple tones to it and it didn't so if Rue disappointed you I gotta say Presley might be right up your alley. So those are my top five polishes from my most owned brands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to join us every Tuesday, go ahead. Everybody is welcome. You can uh, follow the Topic Tuesdays Instagram account. I will leave that in the description box and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>